said, Carol Wick, I would do anything for you. Look at my feet. Thank you for being here. I also want to say thank you to the city and the county, um, and special thanks to Marcia Hope Goodwin, the Orlando Police Department, the Orange County Sheriff's Office, and Linda Santiago for all the details that went into this and making everything run so smoothly today. But today is a special day here in Orlando. Today, some of you have done something for the first time. Actually, it probably happened about a week ago when you went out and started shopping for women's shoes. Or walked into the women's shoe department for the first time because you never wanted to go in there with your partner or your wife. And I know a lot of wives bedazzled shoes was probably a first for them. But this is just the beginning. And today doesn't need to be an end. When you take those shoes off, and I know some of you are already thinking, how do women do this? And I can tell you, it gets a little bit better, but my feet hurt already. So, yeah, you'll remember what it felt like to be in heels, but I want you to remember something else. I want today to be not just a day about awareness. I want to be a day that you draw a line in the sand. Today is a day where each one of us can make a personal commitment to say, never, ever is it okay to use violence in a relationship. Yeah. And we need to take that message and we need to tell it to every single young person that we can. So that when they start growing up and they get into their own relationships, they know it is not okay to hit somebody that you're angry at and it is not okay to have them hit you. And can you imagine the change that we could have in the world if we just had that belief system, and I know a lot of you out there have very strong beliefs about certain issues, let's make this a belief system, draw the line, and then when someone crosses it, get as angry about someone crossing that line and get as outraged as when they do something that you're, another one of the issues that you're passionate about. Whether it be animal abuse, or gay marriage, or right to life, whatever it might be, if you're passionate about something, be passionate about this. And that will make the difference. But we do. If every single man out here took the time to sit down with a young person once a week, just one young person once a week, and told them it is never okay, they need to hear that from us, the adults. And they need to hear it over and over again so it becomes our culture. Now, I, um, I have a really great opportunity today. And... I'm really excited that I get to introduce a, a really true man of courage. Mayor Buddy Dyer was the very first man to sign up, and then he's got great, great color taste and shoes. The very first man to sign up for Man of Courage, and he was also serves as our honorary chair. But as you know, our mayor is a man of action, and he didn't stop there. He made fighting domestic abuse a priority. And now the Orlando Police Department is being replicated in their practices across the country. The Domestic Violence Commission just recommended that the Orlando Police Department's practices and policies be replicated in every municipality throughout Orange County. They should be very proud of that. But Mayor Dyer, and you may not know this, was stood up and said, we need to do a little bit more than that. And he had every single member of his senior leadership team trained in domestic abuse, and he was the first mayor of any major municipal city of this size in the country to take that stand. So I am thrilled to introduce a true man of courage and a man of action, our mayor, Buddy Dyer. Thank you, Carol. I want to be clear, we trained in recognizing domestic abuse and not practicing it. Okay? <laughs> Good afternoon. It's uh, I feel so tall up here, and I now recognize uh, why uneven bricks and stuff like that don't work for women quite as well. I get that. Well, I am so pleased to be participating in the first walk a mile in her shoes, Orlando. I've had two very different types of runs or walks. Uh, earlier this year, I had the opportunity to participate in an event organized by Mayor Brooks for brain tumor research, which was a run in your underwear. And now I've had the opportunity to walk in the shoes, but I don't think we ever ought to combine those two. <laughs> They're good. 
And I'm also pleased that so many elected officials have joined me here today, and especially we have a majority of our city commission, so we could hold a quick special meeting right now if we need to. Um, but I'm proud of what OPD has done in partnering with Harbor House and certainly proud to be honorary chair of this event. Um, we did partner with Harbor House in a program called Takes Courage where we went out into our community and educated specific areas or neighborhoods on how to recognize domestic violence domestic abuse and also how to report it and to teach people about the resources that are available in our community. And we have made a real impact in that area. Um, and it was important that we do so. Uh, the chief will tell you that the year we had a spike in homicides, it was largely related not to drugs but to domestic abuse homicides. And if we can detect those early and keep them limited to incidents instead of eventually uh, going into the most horrible or tra tragic um, event, that's uh, a life save. So I'm equally excited to walk a mile, but I brought a proclamation I'd like to read quickly. In 2000.